welcome here on this very special occasion to celebrate the marriage of Scott and Lisa. I'm sure it means a great deal to both of them to have you all here today. And Lisa, I have to say, you look absolutely beautiful today. I don't know what you normally look like <laughs> beautiful today. And Scott, you look quite nice. Thank you, even with the tears. <laughs> So Scott and Lisa, your wedding is such a special and wonderful occasion, filled with all your hopes and dreams, love and joy. And today is your statement to everyone here, and indeed the rest of the world, that you found your very special person, and after a mere 19 years, <laughs> you've decided to seal the deal and get married today, and you're going to share the rest of your lives together. So your marriage ceremony is the exchange of two sets of vows. In the first, you will declare that you're legally free to marry, and in the second, you're going to make your lasting commitment to each other. But before we commence the ceremony, I must ask you both to state your full name, starting with you, Scott. Please. Scott Cameron Ormston. Lovely. Lisa Denise Brazil. Perfect. I told you that's all you need to do. <laughs> <laughs> Did it brilliantly, well done. So your ceremony marks the next stage in your lives together. Marriage is a promise, a promise made in the hearts of two people and encircled by the love that you feel for each other. A love that comforts and protects you, a love that exists through good times and bad. A love that brings out the very best in each of you and a love that puts a smile on your face when you think of each other. Oh, good, they are sad. <laughs> it's good sound. So it's long been tradition for a hand to be given in marriage and today that honour falls to Chris, the bride's father. Would you like to come and join us, Chris? Come and stand here, perfect. So I'm pretty sure that you're a very proud father as you stand here today yes. beside your beautiful daughter. And I've got one very important question for you, Chris, and we'd appreciate a positive answer to this question, okay? <laughs> Especially Scott. <laughs> so, are you happy to bring Lisa into the love and care of Scott, and do you wish them every happiness in their future lives together? Yes. Very pleased to hear it. <laughs> Would you like to give a little kiss? Shake Scott's hand? No hard feelings? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you. So, family and friends, it's my duty to inform you that the place in which you are now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. And you are all here today to take part in what is at heart a very personal moment between Scott and Lisa as they make their commitment to each other. You have all contributed to their lives in the past, and by being here today, they're asking you to share in their future. So family and friends, I have a very important question for you. You are here today to witness the joining in matrimony of Scott Cameron Ormston and Lisa Janice Roselle. However, if any person present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, they should declare it now. Turn and glare at them, go <laughs> on. I'll them out the window. <laughs> You've chosen very wisely. <laughs> you guess, haven't you? So Scott and Lisa, before you're joined in matrimony, I have to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows that you're about to make. Marriage in this country means the union of two people voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. It is not to be entered into lightly, nor is it lightly to be set aside. So I ask you to respond to the following question with the words, I do. So do you, Scott, wish to take Lisa to be your wife? Do you promise to love her and remain true to her as long as you both live. Oh, I do. And do you, Lisa, wish to take Scott to be your husband? Do you promise to love him and remain true to him as long as you both live? I do. So I'm now going to ask 
each of you in turn to declare that you're legally free to marry. So starting with you, Scott, please repeat. Yeah. I declare that. I declare that. I know of uh, no legal reason. I know of no legal reason. Why I, Scott Cameron Ormston. Why I, Scott Cameron Ormston. May not be joined in marriage. May not be joined in marriage. To Lisa Janice Rizal. To Lisa Janice Rizal. Thank you for that. That's it, Lisa. I declare that. I declare that. I know of no legal reason. I know of no legal reason. Why I, Lisa Janice Rosell. Why I, Lisa Janice Rosell. May not be joined in marriage. May not be joined in marriage. To Scott Cameron Ormston. To Scott Cameron Ormston. Perfect. Well done. Well done. Would you like to push your flowers? So you've both declared that you're free to marry. So I'm now going to ask you to enter into the contract of marriage. So please will you turn and face each other and hold both hands together. Okay. I'm asking you to do this because you're about to make a verbal contract to each other. The vows you make, you're making to each other. So please repeat after me. I call upon I call upon these persons here present these persons here present to witness that I to witness that I Scott Cameron Ormston Scott Cameron Ormston do take thee do take thee Lisa Janice Rizal Lisa Janice Rizal to be my lawful wedded wife to be my lawful wedded wife I call upon I call upon these persons here present these persons here present to witness that I to witness that I Lisa Janice Rosell Lisa Janice Rosell do take thee do take thee Scott Cameron Ormston Scott Cameron Ormston to be my lawful wedded husband to be my lawful wedded husband well done <laughs> So it's now time for you to exchange your wedding rings. The ancient and traditional way of sealing a marriage contract is by the giving and receiving of a ring. These rings are rich in symbolism. A ring is an unbroken circle which has no beginning and no end. Forged of precious yet strong metal, they symbolize your everlasting love and commitment to one another. Now, these all-important rings have been entrusted to Paul via a very special messenger. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and friendship. As a symbol of my love and friendship. As a reminder of the promises. As a reminder of the promises we have made today. Of the promise we, uh, we have made today. I promise to always be there for you. I promise to always be there for you. In good times and bad. In good times and bad. Today I choose you. Today I choose you. <laughs> to be my wife. <laughs> to be my wife. Lovely. Do you like to slide the ring on? I'm really Does hot. it fit? Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really hot. Oh, thank you. So for you? Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Would you like to take the ring? I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and friendship. As a symbol of my love and friendship. 
as a reminder of the promises as a reminder of the promises we have made today we have made today i promise to always be there for you i promise to always be there for you in good times and bad in good times and bad today i choose you today i choose you to be my husband to be my husband so scott and lisa as you hold each other's hand today you're promising to love now tomorrow and always May your hands be forever joined in friendship, your hearts forever joined in love. May these rings be a reminder to you both of the very special vows and promises that you have made today. So marriage is the joining of two people, the union of two hearts. It lives on the love you give to each other and never grows old. May you always be able to share your hopes and dreams and talk and confide in each other. May you be able to share moments of peace and quiet and also laugh and have fun together. May you remain the greatest of friends and above all, may you find a lifetime of happiness together. So Scott and Lisa, you've both promised to love and care for each other. You have made the declarations required by law, making a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of all your family and friends. And so I have to say, it's my really, really, really great pleasure to say that your husband and wife, congratulations. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, it's my absolute genuine pleasure to welcome all you guys here. And on behalf of the new Mr. and Mrs. Ormston, thank you. This is where we all cheer. Right, we would like to thank you all for coming and sharing in the day. I'm sure you all agree, Lisa looks amazing, along with the bridesmaids and also their daughters. Uh, the girls are really credit to you guys. Um, for those of you that don't know me, my name's Paul. Genuinely, extremely honoured, Scott's bricking it. Um, <laughs> um, extremely honoured to be stood here today as Scott's best man. Uh, I'm not sure how happy you'll be by the end of this speech, <laughs> but let's see how it goes. Um, although after instant, uh, being flattered instantly when he asked me to be best man, um, it was only then that he revealed that I'd have to be an animal handler. Um, <laughs> So rather than, rather than actually be his best man, I was just the only of his idiot friends who'd agree to do it. <laughs> However, I think we all agree it went pretty well. Um, I remember Scott ringing me, or generally do, to tell me about the wedding. She's booked a wedding, mate. <laughs> he said. This is, this is word for word. I said, what, you're actually getting married? To which Scott replied, yeah, all I have to do is pay for the bloody thing. <laughs> but it's what she wants. Now, before you get all judgy, I'm sure Lisa will vouch for this. That's the most romantic thing Scott's ever said. <laughs> <laughs> and it was really nice to see him drop his guard and share that moment with him. It was beautiful. Now, Scott and Lisa, some of you probably already know, have been together for almost 20 years. They first met while working at First Saxon. Scott, at the time, was already in a relationship. But Lisa doesn't let little details like that get in the way. <laughs> she already had her eye on the man. And then after a chance meeting, sometime after, sparks flew at Madeline's pub in Gosport. <laughs> <laughs> the rest, as they say, is history. <laughs> and they waste, wasted very little time, um, because after six months, Lisa was already pregnant with their first daughter, Lily. Followed three years later, with the arrival of Daisy. And then I'm assuming they got a Netflix subscription <laughs> because it was seven years after that when they had their youngest daughter, Poppy. <laughs> now, I've known Scott for well over 30 years. We went to the same junior school together, but we didn't really get to know each other properly until seniors. Um, I remember the first time our good mate, Danny O'Neill, brought Scott down to our usual hangout, Grove Road Park. <laughs> Carl knows. Um, he turned up with a plastic bag with eight cans of Skull Lager. <laughs> Bear in mind we were all 14 at the time. <laughs> he, he proceeded to drink most of, if not all of those, bloody horrible beers. And shortly before I left to stumble home, Scott was laying on a bench, barely conscious, surrounded by his own vomit. <laughs> And it was, it, it was at that exact moment I knew we'd be friends for life. <laughs> After that, me and Scott became very good mates. We got up to all sorts of mischief, sharing, sharing good times and bad. Um, Scott actually saved my life at Reading Festival in year 2000. I won't go into it, but just, just know that it was touch and go. Right, we had a lot, well, there was a lot of our past misadventures don't look so nervous, Scott, um, to tell you about and embarrass Scott with, and I had loads written out. But then I remembered two teenage daughters would be sat watching me, listening to my every word, so I thought I'd gloss over most of them. So Lily, Daisy, I'm sorry, but I will not be talking about the time I fell out of your dad's silver mini when he went up on two wheels, when we went round the corner at speed in Leon Solar and he almost killed us both. <laughs> I definitely will not be talking about the time we got busted by plainclothes police in a very smoky car yeah. in Stokes Bay car park. There's absolutely no way I'll mention the time me, Scott, our good friend Carl Slate, got arrested in Scott's blue escort when we were 18. And you can absolutely think again, if I'll be mentioning the time, that me and Scott disappeared into the bushes at Grove Road Park with a girl called Melanie and a girl called Michelle. <laughs> Wait, hang on, hang on. They're not here, are they? <laughs> That'd have been well awkward. <sighs> Sorry, mate. He knows, go on, go on. Um, right, marriage genuinely is no easy thing. I myself am a veteran of 11 years. 
but honestly, they are the best years of my life. And I really do hope it's the same for you both. I really do. Um, I think we can all agree that you've both done most of the hard work already being together for 20 years. Um, and I know Scott's the mo not the most romantic person in the world, but I know how much he loves you, Lisa, genuinely. Um, you're a great couple, genuinely lovely. Um, great parents who work hard to provide your daughters um, with the best they can have in life. Um, and I know, like I've said before, Scott and Lisa are very happy that all you guys are here. But unfortunately, not everyone can be here. Which brings me to my first and absolutely most important toast. Right, unfortunately, there's one less chair here today. And it would have been for the most amazing woman, who I know would have had the biggest smile on her face if she had been here. Scott's mum, Carolyn, or Kaz, as we all knew her, um, was literally the best. When we were younger, she was like a mum to all of us, as all our mums were. I say all of us, she actually used to call me a toy boy. <laughs> and genuinely, there's a great story about that. If you want to buy me a drink at a bar later, I'll fill you in. He knows what I'm going to say. Um, I saw her at her best as an awesome human, always making people smile, and a devoted mother at Scott's hospital bed when he was very ill with meningitis. She will be missed by everyone that knew her, and still is today, so if you wouldn't mind, please be upstanding. And if we could all raise our glasses, please, to Carolyn. 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 All I'd like to say is thank you, Lisa, for organising a lot of this, because I've pretty much turned up. That goes with, obviously, her bridesmaid, Hannah. Sarah and also Sharon, thank you so much for making this uh, possible. Other than that, thank you for coming. Let's drink up and get drunk. Yeah.